and welcome to a special episode of Critters. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We are going to show off some of the Critters of, um, well, oh. Azeroth. This is Ash, Ashana, and I forget where I got her. Uh, the pet journal should come. Uh, I believe I was. She was bought. Uh, Green Weavers. So Valshara. Yep. So she is a cute little cat cub. Um. Next we have Brightpaw. Brightpaw is a little mana cub. We actually had a very interesting encounter with a member of his kind. Today. Oh yes, um, I will have to edit that into the video near the end, uh, because yes, uh, just too adorable to to explain. Put it this way, cat on Roomba, enough said. Yep. He uh, occasionally zips around, and I'm going to see if he will do that. Oh, I think we should try one of the mini treats. Mini treats shrink oh. them down to half their size. You've heard of the treats that make your pet bigger. Apparently there are also treats that make your pets smaller. She is adorable. There. Oh, oh. there she goes. There Whoa, she goes. that was quick. That was like zip, 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 zip. Oh, well, you shrunk her down to about half her usual size. Um, Bright Paw, uh, you bought in 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 the game shop. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The next one is the Cinder Kitty. Cinder oh. Kitty was also bought in the guest shop. In the game shop. Wasn't that part of a, a end of year raise money for? Yes, a lot. Sort of a lot of the pets uh, that they introduce uh, usually around October, November. I was going to say November. Well, it yeah. goes. I know it usually goes through December into the first New Year. They usually raise money for some charity cause. Uh, one time it was the tsunami that hit Japan. Um, I think that was the... Wasn't that the little... Uh, I do not remember. The little... Um, <laughs> hippogriff. Anyway, Cinder Kitty is adorable. And... Yeah, there's really... Oh! Yes. <laughs> he plays... He chases his own tail. Yes, he is adorable. Hey, I'm getting just as much fun out of this as y'all are watching. Then there's going to be... This is a cinder pup. I named her Flo. I had a puppy named Flo when I was a kid. So I named the cinder pup after my puppy. He does little growl. Well, she does little growls, little puppy noises. Let's give her a ball to chase. Oh, oh, maybe there. She fetches. Yay! She sort of fetches. Well, I didn't throw it very far. Here, let's zoom out a little bit. There. There she goes. Oh, okay, yeah. That is fair. So yes, there are several toys and such that you can get for the animals. Proof that we in the World of Warcraft community enjoy playing with our virtual pets. Just as much as we do love The Cinder life. Pup was gotten through a garrison mission, so that was through... Rainforest. Yes. 
Now it's time for Cornelius or Corgnelius, I should say. He was Oh, Corgnelius. Dragging his butt on the floor. Yeah. Uh that seems to be a an just a common idol animation for dogs. Certain dogs, yes. Some I think it was Legion just went crazy with the Corgis. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, true royalty among Corgis. <laughs> of course. It was probably a Legion mission. Yeah. If you don't know, the Queen of England loves her Corgis, and she has like four or five of them. So, corgis are quite royal puppies. <laughs> yes! Yes, you are! Okay, this is a ghost kitty. This is Cursed Berman. And you get him, or her, I'm not sure. Anyways, you get them by... Uh, Halloween candies for all's hollows. Yes, the Halloween yeah. event. Yes. Believe me, it took a lot of candies, too, to get these guys. Uh, 150, I think? Yes, yep. 150. But. That is an adorable ghost cat. Okay, I know it's not a cat or a dog, but... A special honorary mention goes out to... Care Banach. I, I know I'm probably butchering the Irish <sighs> Celtic language. And a, and a special reference cookie goes out to those who understand the reference. This is the Dark Moon Rabbit. If you notice, it is a white rabbit with a red face and red eyes. Uh, Post in the comments where the name and the bunny look comes from. And we'll send you a virtual cookie until we get some merch. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I don't know, you might get a real cookie or something. Yep. Yeah. Let's see now. Oh, another bunny. This is... A dust bunny! Because, yes, they have those in Warcraft. Yes, you had to get these by, uh... You had to do a special thing with the dust. Didn't you have to dust particular... Uh, this very elusive creature likes to hide in places where many adventurers don't frequently travel. But you had to get do something special to kick up the dust to get the dust bunnies to spawn so that way you could battle them and capture them. I think so. But I still. just remember it was very entertaining. Okay, this is a battle pet, but he doesn't do anything. This is an elk plushie. Elk. Elk plushie. It is literally a little... Does it follow you around or does it just stay where you it just stays it there. Like it, just stays it just stays there. It's a little plushie. And you can actually get one of these, an actual Elec plushie, in the in game Blizzard store, so you could have your own little plush to set on a shelf. Oh, God. I, I, or, I really want one. I think there's a Raptor equivalent, too. There is a Raptor equivalent, yes. Okay. <sighs> This is Dewey. He's a fell pup. He is from Tanan Jungle back at the end of the Warlords of Draenor expansion. Yes. These pups... Yeah. Quest was a fell pup of my own. And you can actually, as a hunter, get a big version of these to be your Beastmaster pet. By doing a... 
by doing a special quest line for that. Yes. Because I think you have to purify them of their corruption. To be able to tame them, yes. Because otherwise they're considered aberrations. But these pups are bundles of fur and teeth until they grow up, at which point they are really just teeth. But they're still very cute. Yes. Okay, next is going to be the mechanical fur line. I named mine Mechano Cat. Of course you did. This is a little robot kitty cat that is found out in Nomergon. Originally created by the engineers in the bowels of Nomergon. The Fluxfire V line is a marvel of modern engineering. Uh I don't even think it has fur. I guess it's very... It's more metallic than anything. It's very hypoallergenic. Yep. Okay, this is my little gray wolf. This one just makes me sad. This is a little ghost pup, yes. This little wolf told to stay watching, waiting for vacant prey. Too proud to leave, she slipped away. Unburdened now, forever free to play. And follow adventurers around as they can You actually unlocked her through archaeology. Oh, she it was archaeology? It was an archaeology out in Draenor, and that's how you got Little Grey Wolf. She's a little ghost puppy, and she's <laughs> cute. She is so cute. cute. Yes, you are. Um, next we have the Frost Wolf Pup. The, uh, living equivalent. The, these pups are bundles of fur and teeth until they grow up, which they're really just teeth. Much like all of the little wolves Frost wolf from pups. Draenor. Ah! Frost Wolf Pups, you could actually get one of these also from the game shop. In fact... I'm pretty sure we have one. We do. We do have one of these little... Bundles of fur in real life, a little plushy, totally adorable. Yes. Okay, let's and see. And I think he just went to sleep. Yes, they do sleep. <coughs> and I'm going through looking for the next one. Yes, I have a lot of pets. Sniffles. There is nothing wrong with having a lot of pets. No. It uh, means you... Sniffles it. is bought. Uh, <coughs> little purple wolfy. Um, uh, nether pup. Nether pup, yes. Very cute. I named... I, for lack of a better name, I named him Sniffles. Uh, when I am on my hunter and I have what I call my grape wolf out, a very larger version of Sniffles, they match in color, and uh, I'll bring them both out so that I have a hunter pet and a little pet following along. It's super adorable and very matchy-matchy. Yes. Oh. oh, Lurking Owl Kitten. Gotta show one of these. This is an owl cat, basically. The, this one originates from a quest line, a short, slightly annoying quest line in Suramar. You, you have to you have to herd or wrangle kittens. Basically, you need to get three of these little guys back to their mama and papa. And it's about as frustrating as wrangling kittens in real life can be. Yep, yep. But still cute and adorable. Let's see. This is Mischief. Another in-game pet. The you, you had to buy it from the game store, yes. Uh, I think also they donated money with this one. I'm not sure. I believe so, but I could not tell you for what. But if you listen, there's kind of a after, kind of like a little flamey sound. But 
Mischief is adorable. A fell corrupted kitty. Now we're gonna have. Oh jeez. 